Football Friday night allegations of hazing overshadowing the game. We continue to follow this developing story for you. Two teens at Conifer High School right here arrested and facing serious charges related to an incident that went just too far. Liz Gillardi asked what the school should do now moving forward. At the football game tonight, parents, students talking about this. A vague email telling them two students are facing charges after an incident at Evergreen High School. Off the field, rumors spread around Evergreen High School. I heard that there was some hazing on the football team. Some not very good things going on. Now, confirmation. A 15-year-old and 16-year-old arrested and kicked off the football team. The older student is looking at a possible felony. Both are on the JV football team. Steve Gray's son is a senior on the varsity team, and for him, the email to parents wasn't surprising. You just don't know what to say when it happens, so... We talked with the author of Bully Proofing Your School. He told us over the phone, bullying or hazing like this should be used as a teaching opportunity. Not just that they've been, quote, punished, but they have given back to restore the uh, damage that they did to their community. We know the alleged hazing involved four male victims with multiple incidents over a period of time. Then on Monday, while at school, things went too far. Police won't say exactly what happened. That one student was arrested because he threatened to shank other students with a sharded piece of glass. Serious allegations and consequences. You know, there's just some kids that do some things and they don't really think about what's going on. And, and the bullying expert we talked to says it's important at this point for the school to try and create a more inclusive community and for these students to try and make things right with the victims. Liz Gillardi, Denver 7.